Apple has been pretty quiet when it comes to AI, but Apple is also right now the most valuable company in the world with a business model that relies on a brand no one can duplicate. So it's a company in no rush to compete. But don't sleep on Apple. Their AI is coming. So yes, they're trying to basically train their own model to one, utilize it internally, and two, be able to offer it for, for customers in their own right. And, and a lot of companies are doing this. From assembling their own team of AI Avengers to creating the AI that will replace the fitness trainer, on this episode of AI Focus, we'll get into what Apple has planned so far in the field of AI. Every major company is making huge moves in AI, all except one obvious one, Apple. I for one really wish they would take it more seriously because Siri really sucks. Tim Cook, the company CEO, has been mighty vague when it comes to his view on new AI developments. He said generative AI was very interesting but that Apple wanted to be very thoughtful and deliberate in its approach. And let's face it, Apple can afford to be thoughtful and deliberate because that Apple is ingrained into our souls at this point, whether they develop AI or not, at least for now. In the meantime, they've restricted some employees from having ChatGPT and other generative AI for fear of having important data get out, even with ChatGPT just being released on Apple's iOS yesterday. Uh, first and foremost, we have Apple actually restricting its employees from using ChatGPT uh, because of the fear of releasing confidential data, especially to a competitor like Microsoft and uh, OpenAI. Apple probably learned from Samsung's own issues with ChatGPT. The tech company originally allowed its employees at its device solutions division to use generative AI, but then there was a data leak. Now Samsung is temporarily restricting the use of generative AI tools on company-owned devices as well as non-company-owned devices running on internal networks. This ban is not only for ChatGPT, but BARD and Microsoft's Bing as well. The restriction is only temporary, taking effect until they have security measures to create a secure environment for safely using generative AI to enhance employees' productivity and efficiency. The company is also currently developing its own AI tools for software development and translation. In addition, Samsung asked employees not to submit any company-related info or personal data that could reveal intellectual property to generative AI on their own tools. The danger this poses to businesses comes from the fact that it's hard to retrieve and delete submitted data on these external servers and that that info could be disclosed to other users. It's a perfect tool for corporate espionage. OpenAI has been working diligently to address privacy concerns so that bans can be lifted from these high-profile companies. Uh, now, ChatGPT has employed a, uh, or has uh, developed a, uh, a method of utilizing like an incognito mode in order to uh, utilize the platform without it actually saving your data. But once again, that's going to be something that a lot of uh, individuals as well as companies are going to be a little bit skeptical about. Before we get into Apple's new AI ventures, there are tools that are coming out that can potentially protect businesses from cyber attacks, data leaks, and hallucinations altogether though. One is Arthur AI's Shield product that works as a firewall between ChatGPT and the large language model to run checks against that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, these models fundamentally, they don't contain all the data they were trained on. They contain sort of some, like really uh, efficient summaries of it, right? And so they don't really know what's true and what's not true. What they know is what is probably could be likely to be true. And as they're making these determinations, there are certain flags and signals which you can uh, key off of to, gener to decide like what are the, how confident are we that this model knows what it's talking about. And that's what our, our, uh, our ri research team has, has developed is the way to, to really kind of set threshold and block things that you, know, you really shouldn't be confident are, are correct because these are getting deployed into legal and medical contexts and you know, business people. And uh, you know, when, you're, when you're deploying them in this way and people are actioning off them, there's real consequences to having misinformation information out there. Then there's Calypso AI's moderator tool that redirects employees from ChatGPT to a company website where IT admins can audit the responses and questions going in and out of the models. Even NVIDIA, the chip maker that's powering the AI world right now, developed a guardrails tool aimed at helping developers build their own rules to set limits on what users can do with LLMs, like stopping the execution of malicious code restricting certain topics, and detecting misinformation. It's really up to the leader of an organization to decide if they want to integrate AI into their company and how they'll deal with the risks. Apple can ban ChatGPT too, but it can ignore AI. 
and it finally looks as though it's ready to ease it into its business. But before we get into that, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. The Cupertino company has posted at least a dozen job ads focusing mostly on passionate machine learning specialists that can build autonomous systems. The openings are in teams that include integrated system experience, input experience NLP, machine learning R&D, and the technology development group in Seattle and San Diego. So if you're qualified, go apply. Some of the roles focus specifically on visual generative AI applications where machine learning experts will work to power applications from computation photography, image and video editing, 3D shape and motion construction, and avatar generation. It seems like Apple is late to the party, but lest we forget, they were the OG of consumer AI applications with the debut of Siri in 2011. I can remember how cool and unbelievable it was to have an actual voice talking to you from your phone, no matter how incompetent she is now. At least mine has an Australian accent, so that's cool. The difference lies in the ingredients. The impressive chatbots of today like ChatGPT are built on large language models, while Siri, Alexa, and Google Voice Assistant are all built on something called command and control systems. You can say, turn on the lights, or what's the weather? But if a user asks a virtual assistant to do something not in its code, it simply says that it can't help. The design of Siri also makes it so that it takes weeks to update or add any new phrases. But what AI is Apple working on behind the curtain that will finally give all these other companies a run for their money? Apple is working on an AI-powered health coach geared towards helping you improve your exercise, sleep, and eating habits. The project is codenamed Quartz and will use AI and data from the Apple Watch to tailor suggestions and coaching programs specific to the user. It's still very early for Quartz though and it isn't set to come out until next year. Quartz will have a monthly fee tacked on and several teams, including the health, Siri, and AI teams at Apple are working on the project. In addition to this, Apple's working on an emotion tracking tool in the health app that will allow users to log their mood, answer questions about their day, and compare the results over time. In the future, Apple hopes the mood tracker will be able to use algorithms to understand a user's mood based on their speech and text. Looks like Spotify's predictive algorithm for music is evolving to cater to your innermost emotions. Welcome to the future. Apple's big WWDC conference is next month, and I'll be watching with great interest to see what direction the richest company in the world takes when it comes to AI. What do you think about Apple's efforts in AI? Where are they headed? Will they be state-of-the-art, topping Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.